what's this week been like for you? You know, for, you've been putting in the work, but you've kind of been the, the unknown guy or whatever for a while. So what's it like being the center of attention this week? Um, it, it feels pretty normal. I, you know, I, uh, you know, I kind of mind my own business and be myself. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to fighting on Saturday. Is there any part of you that feels like, man, this is my time, that people are finally going to respect me, or do you even think about that kind of stuff? Yeah, of course I think about it. I'm human, you know. I got to, uh, you know, I, I it, it's different because, uh, you know, I, I know that the people who know me know me, but now, like, the rest of the world is going to know who I am, and, it, you know, it's exciting, but it's not, you know, it's not distracting me. I'm still focused on winning the fight. This, this sport, obviously, it's, I mean, it's, all, it's about wins and losses, but it's about entertainment and that sort of thing, too, or... I mean, you, you strike me as a guy who's just kind of humble, doesn't really want to talk trash and that sort of yeah, thing. So, are you embracing that side of it all? Like, hey, maybe I got to get out of my shell a little bit. Yeah, but you know, that's that's me, man. Like, you know, I'm still, you know, I could be as nice as I want to to Damien. I like the guy, I respect him, but I'm still gonna try to hurt him in the cage. You know, it's not gonna stop me. I, you could put my brother in the cage against me, and I, you know, I'm still gonna, you know, go out there and put on a show either way. So, I don't think you need to, you know, to talk trash if if you uh, if you perform when you, you know, fight night. Yeah. As far as the matchup itself, technically speaking, what do you think? I mean, obviously Damien is, is jiu-jitsu is what everybody talks about, but do you feel like that's a spot you have to avoid because he's so dangerous on the ground, or do you feel like you can engage him there? Yeah, I'm going to engage him there. I'm, you know, I, 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 that's part of my game, too. So, you know, I, I don't, maybe not jiu-jitsu, but I'm, I'm a ground guy. I'm a wrestler. I, you know, I'm a striker. I mix it all. I'm a mixed martial artist. I'm not, it's not jiu-jitsu. It's a fight. So I plan on taking a fight wherever it needs to go. He's got, you know, uh, criticized in the past maybe for his gas tank. Do you feel like, I mean, is that any part of your game plan at all? Like, hey, let's drag this thing deep, or do you feel like it, it may happen in round one, it may happen in round five? Yeah, of course. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for five rounds, but you know, if I if I finish him in the first, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for that too. So, but of course, you have to be ready for five rounds. You can't just assume it's going to be a quick fight. Uh, you know, if it goes into later rounds, I'm more than ready. You've had a lot of layoffs throughout your career for different reasons. Um, What's the goal? Is the goal to be as busy as possible? How many times do you think you can fight this year? I would love to fight. I love fighting, man. It's something that I like to do. I don't like, you know, making weight and that, that you know, all that stuff. But uh, if I could, you know, if I, if I walk out of this fight healthy, I'm, I'll take a fight next weekend. You know, I like to spend some time with my family, but you know, I like to, uh, fighting's fun.